이어서 잉글리시 뉴스가 방송됩니다. 안녕하세요. The government will reflect on the opinions from the province and the Tourism Association. It has been decided not to apply the ETA to citizens of the 64 countries who are allowed to enter Jeju visa-free. However, when safety issues are in sake, citizens of the visa-free entry countries may be required to an ETA. The Ministry of Justice will have discussions with the Jeju Provincial Office next month with regards to the ETA to ensure a safe launch. Floorball, an indoor non-ice version of ice hockey played without skates, is gaining popularity in Korea. Three years after the outbreak of COVID-19, Korea's only international floorball competition took place in Jeju. A coaching clinic was also held by players of the Czech Republic team, which is known to have the best skills in the floorball arena. Todd Thacker reports. These floorball athletes are in the middle of training. The top-ranked national floorball team of the Czech Republic is closely observing the training session. The team notes key points that players have to pay attention to and teaches difficult skills to the Korean players who participate in the international competition. This is a coaching clinic organized as the pre-event of the 2022 Jeju International Floorball Open Championships. 사람마다 기준이 조금씩 다를 수 있다고 생각하는데 제가 생각했을 때는 외국 선수들도 나와서 뛰는 경기고 한국 선수들도 이제 상금이 걸려 있는 만큼 많이 준비를 해서 나오는 대회입니다. Competition, which was held at Hala Gymnasium and the Gymnasium of Hala Middle School from the 26th to the 28th, had more than 700 players of 22 men's and women's teams from 11 countries, including Korea, Singapore, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Switzerland. As the event was held for the first time in three years due to the pandemic and is the only such international competition held in Korea, Korean floorball clubs were highly interested in the competition. 코로나로 인해서 이제 운동을 못 하던 선수들이 어 우리나라에서도 지금 처음으로 열리는 국제 대회가 되었고 아시아권에서도 이제 열리지 못했던 대회가 제주도에서 열리다 보니까 많은 국가에서 많은 선수들이 참가해 주고 있습니다. From the island, men's teams from Jeju Hala University and Jeju Blue Dolphins competed, while women's teams from Shinsung Girls High School and the Jeju Blue Dolphins competed for top places. During the last competition held prior to the pandemic, one Jeju women's team and one men's team took runner-up spots in surprise results. In particular, amid growing interest in floorball in Asian countries in recent years, the competition in Jeju is expected to greatly help revitalize domestic floorball. Like just to, to develop their skills, uh, to be self-confident uh, of the field, uh, to enjoy the game. And if you share these moments with other players, it's uh, it opened mind for, for the others, so with other uh, European teams, but also uh, Asian teams and countries uh, will be much better in the future. At this sporting event, held for the first time in three years due to the pandemic, it's the spirit of harmony among clubs and nations, as well as a chance to learn from the world's top floorball athletes, that's garnered the most attention. Todd Thacker, KCTV. Thank you for watching KCTV English News. Have a great evening.